Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a uh, uh, redo on the sous vide burgers. I did a video a couple of weeks back on uh, just trying out sous vide burgers. I really didn't put a whole lot of effort into them. Uh, I just kind of threw them in a vacuum bag and threw them in the water and didn't really do a whole lot of, uh, you know, pre-prep work on them. So <laughs> they didn't turn out as well as I thought they would, but my son has requested burgers for his birthday party tomorrow. He's got a bunch of friends coming over and he's 17, going to be turning 17. So one of his friends requested that I make sous vide burgers so he could give them a try. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more effort in this one. So what I'm getting ready to do right now, today's uh, Saturday and tomorrow's Sunday is the, the day of the party. So I'm going to prep the burgers today. And what I'm going to do is take the ground beef that I've had thawed already, 80-20, uh, um, and I'm going to put it, mix it up in a bowl. Um, I read a couple different um, articles and watched a couple videos on sous vide burgers. One of them was Chef Steps, and they um, suggested putting an egg in the burger to kind of hold it together some. I normally don't do that when I'm just making burgers. I do it for meatloaf all the time, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. And I'm going to season the uh, meat before I patty it up with a little bit of the beef rub. Not a whole lot because we're going to season it on top also. They don't do that, but I've always found it uh, to season the meat itself when you're pattying actually adds flavor throughout the whole burger instead of just on the surface. So I'm going to just use a little bit of my beef rub, which is salt, pepper, and garlic in the meat while I patty it up. I usually use, I found this um, uh, lid from a, I think it was an old pretzel can or something from Costco that I used to make patties with because it's about uh, three quarters of an inch thick and it's just the right size around. Um, they used a, a metal, uh, you know, ring, a uh, patty ring that they they used, but I found this makes good size patties. So I'm going to make them on the thicker end, probably a little over an inch thick, and then this diameter, and then of course they'll shrink up some. But I'm going to patty them up today, and I'm um, going to throw them in their freezer so that when we throw them in the sous vide, that uh, you know they have a little bit more time to cook because we're going to be going to church in the morning, so I need them to cook a little bit longer than just an hour that they suggest. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to throw all the meat in here, mix it up. Okay, and guys, I'll be back I'm going to go ahead and show you how I patty them up. I'm only going to do one. I'm not going to sit here and patty all these burgers out for you uh, on camera. So I'm just going to show you how I do one of them. And what I did is I took about five pounds of 80-20 ground chuck, and I added about two to three tablespoons of my beef rub which is salt, pepper, garlic. Um, then I two, the, put two eggs. Uh, Chef Steps recommended uh, one egg for every two pounds, but I figured two eggs for five pounds is good enough. I don't want it too eggy. I don't want it too meatloafy when I make this up. You know, the egg is just to really hold it, hold it together some. So what I'm going to do is I kind of eyeball it. My hands are clean. I washed them just now, <laughs> just so you uh, guys know. I kind of eyeball it. And what I normally do, I got bigger hands. And uh, I try to make them a little over a quarter of a pound, the burger size. So I kind of make it about the size of my fist. And what I do is I take my little patty maker here, and I'll put I'll put the meat down on a piece of parchment or wax paper or a plastic wrap, and kind of put another one over the top of it. And I'll take my little patty here, and I'll just kind of push it down, not all the way down to the you know, since this is going to be a little bit thicker than what the uh, lid here is. I just kind of push it down just to kind of make the shape. And what I'll do is I'll just push my fingers around the bottom edges to kind of push it in. And just kind of give it enough pressure so that it forms the shape. And when I take it off, I can just make sure and give it a little bit more, give a little bit more um, pressure on there, kind of form it. And what I'm trying to do is just make it a perfect shape and size. So they're all uniform and they all cook the same. So if you can see that, I've got a perfect patty here. And then what I'm going to bag these up with today is I'm going to use my two gallon Ziploc bags. I'm not going to vacuum seal these up because last time I vacuum sealed them, it kind of compressed the patty, um, the pressure of the vacuum seal 
compressed the patties down and made them real thin and it took the shape away. So I'm going to put these in the Ziploc bags. That way I'll do the air displacement method when I put them in the uh, sous vide so it doesn't take the shape away. And since they're going to be frozen, that'll help out as well. But I'm going to go ahead and patty some more of these up and put them in the bags. Okay, I'll, I'll be right I got back. them all pattied up, put them in the big two-gallon Ziploc bags, and I'm just going to put them on a pan like this and stick them in the freezer. And we'll take these out tomorrow morning before we leave for church and throw them in the sous vide. And we will, like I said, get all this air out of there before then. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the morning hey, when I get ready back. to throw these in. And it's Sunday morning. Yeah, it's about quarter after eight and we leave for church about quarter after nine so about an hour I'll be leaving so I got my burgers out of the freezer and like I said we're going to be putting these in right before we leave I got the water heating up out in the big cooler right now and we're going to do them at 132 degrees and by the time we get home they'll be perfect I'll pull them out and what I'm going to do before I leave right now is I'm going to chop up some lettuce onions tomatoes pickles I'm going to put uh, cook up some bacon just put what we're going to do is going to have a big burger bar so the kids can make their own burgers any way they want. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up a whole bunch of vegetables and we'll be putting these in sous vide in about 45 minutes or so before we leave. So hang out with me okay. and I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in now, but I'm going to do them a little different than if they were vacuum packed because <clears throat> we do have some, we do want to get some of that air out of there. So I'm going to lay them in really slow here put them on the bottom. But I'm gonna, I got the bag open a little bit on the top. So what we're doing is just going to try to get as much air out of here as possible. So we're going to go ahead and just, you know, you can't really see it, but I'm just going to make it to where the bag is just underneath the, uh, the, the top is just above the water here. So we're squeezing out as much of that air as possible. Then we're going to go ahead and seal these up. They are Ziploc bags. I'm going to pull it back out a little bit and make sure it's sealed. Because these are going to go under the water completely. So that one's down. And these will float a little bit, so I am going to put a lid on to, or a, something on top of these, like a rack or something to keep them under the water. But I'm also checking to make sure I put it under there and make sure that there's no more. Uh, air but there's no water getting in it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these but I'll see you guys back when we get back from the burgers out of the sous vide they were in there about an hour and a half at 132 and got them all dried off and fired up the Weber kettle today that's what we're going to cook them on and that's uh, getting ready to go so we get about 15 minutes or so get that all heated up and we will uh, throw these on so guests are starting to arrive so gonna get these on and see how they turn out forgot to tell you I'll be back I'm gonna put a little bit more of the beef rub right on top before I throw them on the grill so they're all dried off now I'm just gonna toss a little bit just on top of them I'm not gonna do both sides so because they're seasoned throughout the meat. But I'm going to put a little on, and then we're going to throw them on the grill. All right, so you the Weber's right up to about 400 degrees. It's coming along pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw, start throwing these burgers on. And I'm going to put the uh, side on that uh, I seasoned, just so that uh, that gets cooked in first. So. I've got a good bunch of them, so I'll probably use this whole grate. And I got the uh, charcoal spread all out from the chimney, so it's cooking pretty good. And as you can see, it's starting to flare up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all on and close the top. Just give them that quick sear. Won't be on here for long. Martin, right here. What's up? 
he is going to, they're both going to be testing these sous vide burgers and tell you how they like them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, guys. Take a bite. All right. And make sure you speak into the microphone down here. Mm. So. Hope mm. you guys can hear us. Mmm. Mm. Very tender. Very tender. Mm. I like it. But not like it's falling how's apart. How's the doneness? How's the doneness? The doneness? Well, it's, it's more of good. a medium. It's, very, it's, very it's more of a medium, yeah. It is medium, but it's also even. Oh. Yes. Very good. To, it's like it was cooked before it was flame grilled. Take another bite so you can really get the flavor down. Mm. What kind of flavors are coming at you right now? Very sm slightly smoky. Mm -hmm. Very good. A little bit peppery. Beefy. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, so you like them that way, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. definitely better than Well, there you go, guys. Awesome. The second try at <laughs> sous vide burgers came out a lot better than the first one, so. Yeah. Go ahead and try it, and uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.